Today we're going to talk about neonatal circumcision. Neonatal circumcision. That procedure that many parents dread and fear, but still request without knowing enough. Circumcision is the surgical removal of the foreskin, that skin in the, on the tip of the penis, uh, that happens during the newborn time, after a male baby has been born. It usually happens uh, during the hospitalization after the birth of the child. The United States is the only country in the developed world where the majority of male infants are circumcised for non-religious reasons. It is estimated that approximately 80% of males aged 14 to 59 years are circumcised, with most of those procedures performed on newborns. Outside of the United States, circumcision rates vary widely, from less than 5% to over 90% of males, and this has to do with some religious indications or some religious interests. Parents or caregivers should receive non-biased information about the potential medical benefits and risks associated with circumcision as any other surgical procedure and should understand the fact that the procedure is elective. So, let's talk about any potential benefits associated with this. And this is based on available evidence that we have. Circumcision has been associated with certain benefits, including lower rates of urinary tract infections for boys, reduction of penal cancer risk, reduction of inflammation of the penis, and some reduction in sexually transmitted diseases. It seems that a lower rate of urinary tract infections is the major benefit during infancy, particularly, particularly during the first year of life. However, UTIs are uncommon in males at any age. Perhaps the most benefit is noticed in children with other abnormalities in the urinary tract system to avoid further complications. Squamous cell cancer of the penis is a rare disease, and circumcision could play a role in reducing the risk. However, the number of newborn circumcisions that would need to be performed to prevent one case of cancer of the penis has been estimated to range between 909 to 322,000. That is, we have to make that many number of circumcisions to be able to prevent one single case of squamous cell cancer of the penis. Besides, vaccination against human papillomavirus diminishes the role of circumcision in preventing cancer in this area. Inflammation of the penis and phimosis, which is when the foreskin gets really tight around the glands or, or the head of the penis, seem to be higher in uncircumcised boys. However, good hygiene of the penis may also prevent these issues. This highlights the importance of teaching uncircumcised boys routine hygiene of the penis and routine care of the penis. There is high quality evidence that circumcision protects against getting HIV, HPV, which is human papillomavirus, and probably herpes. However, despite this data, circumcision is not a replacement for the use of condoms and safe sex practices later in life. Now, there are potential disadvantages related to circumcision. It is estimated that the rate of complication associated with the procedure is approximately 0.2% within the first month of its performance. It's not that high, but it's important to consider those risks when making the decision about this. One of the potential risks or consequences associated with uh, circumcision is inadequate skin removal, too much or too little. Some adhesions can form, which is scar tissue, around the area that is cut on the foreskin. Bleeding, as with any other surgical procedure, can happen, which is usually mild and controlled easily. Infection is also another potential risk, which is usually mild and treated with local antibiotics. But remember that sepsis can occur. Sepsis is a generalized infection, and death has been reported in very, very few cases. Injury of the glands or the head of the penis can also happen as a potential risk or consequence of a neonatal circumcision. And this can include also the amputation of the penis. The foreskin uh, contains specialized sensory mucosa, which is a highly sensitive tissue. Therefore, concern exists that the end of the penis may become less sensitive and sexual sensation may be decreased when the foreskin is removed. Now, professional societies and organizations have expressed their views concerning the advantages and disadvantages of routine circumcision. Several pediatric and urology experts feel that circumcision should be advocated as a public health measure. On the other hand, there are groups that oppose circumcision on a human rights basis, saying the infant is not allowed to decide whether or not he wants to be circumcised 
and the procedure constitutes basically genital mutilation. In 1996, the Canadian Pediatric Society indicated that the benefits and harms of circumcision are so evenly balanced that they don't support circumcision as a routine procedure for newborns. Similarly, in 2012, the American Academy of Pediatrics concluded that, quote, the health benefits of newborn male circumcision outweigh the risks, unquote. However, they did not recommend routine circumcision. They actually said, quote, parents, should weigh their health benefits and risks in light of their own religious, cultural, and personal preferences, as the medical benefits alone may not outweigh these other considerations for individual families, end quote. Basically, they're saying, you choose. So that is why it is important that when we're thinking about considering this as an intervention for the newborn, you have all the information necessary to make the decision. In conclusion, these are the five things you need to remember about circumcisions in the newborn period. First, it is an elective procedure to remove the skin from the tip of the penis in newborns. Second, the United States is the only country where the majority of males are circumcised for non-religious reasons. Third, there are potential benefits associated with the procedure. Fourth, there are natural risks associated with doing this surgical procedure in a newborn. And finally, there is no definitive universal recommendation by professional organizations. So you decide as a parent.